Hello Madudistas and welcome to today's interesting episode where we are going to talk you through some three main talking points ahead of Real Madrid match the 9 clash versus Osasuna. But before we get right into that, I would like to welcome you once more to today's episode. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Follow us right up to the end so you do not miss on any interesting detail. Real Madrid were put to a taxing test against Napoli midweek at the Diego Armando Maradona Stadium. They did come out as 3-2 victories victors but it is safe to say that the game left the players dead on their feet. Having returned home, Los Blancos must take on Osasuna in an early kickoff on Saturday, March the 9th La Liga EA Sport. Jabuba Arasalte's men have had a mixed start to the new campaign, winning tries, losing four times and conceding a draw in eight games so far. They currently sit in ninth position on the standing with 10 points to their name. So Madrid my DNA brings you three talking points ahead of Real Madrid versus Osasuna. Starting first, we are going to start with a repeat of the cup final. Real Madrid did not have a memorable 2022-23 campaign. They failed to get past Manchester City in the UEFA Champions League finished second in La Liga and were far from as consistent as they would like to be. Yet the only silver lining on their calendar was the Copa de Real and route to the title. They defeated arch rivals FC Barcelona after sensational second leg comeback to earn a place in the final. The grand final saw Los Blancos take on none other than Osasuna. The Pamplona-based side enjoyed a stunning run in the, cha- in the competition last season, donning the likes of Sevilla, Athletic Club Bilbao and Real Betis to earn a final berth. In the 90 minute, they panned out at the Estadio de la Cartuja in the final. Real Madrid did not have it easy. Osasuna fought neck to neck for every ball and were practically unsatisfied at par with Los Blancos. Carlo Ancelotti's men got the early lead on the ninth on the night, but their opponent refused to give up and conjured their resources to level the score close to the hour mark. In the end, only a Rodrigo goal in the 70th minute separated the two sides. The Copa de Real final only served to remind one of the sheer greed and resilience endowed in the Pamplona-based side. Tomorrow's game against the same opposition will be anything but easy. The second talking point on today's agenda will be defensive crisis. Edel Militao's injury and Nacho Fernandez's suspension leaves Carlo Ancelotti short-staffed in center defense. There was hope over David Alaba's recovery ahead of tomorrow's clash and a final decision was awaited today. As part of his routine pre-match press conference, Carlo Ancelotti confirmed that the Austrian international had not completed recover, completely recovered and would not participate against Jagoba's Arete's side. The option we have are Mendy or Chouameni. You will know tomorrow, I know today. He added when asked when who would join Antonio Rudiger in the centre defence. Both Ferran Mendy and Aurelien Chouameni are capable of playing in the foreign position, although it remains to be seen to what capacity. In any case, it can not be good news for Real Madrid to start such a tricky fixture without two natural defenders. 
Mendy will appear better placed to play center on the night given Chouamene's importance in midfield. After all, report yesterday brought out that the pivot player would not be particularly placed over playing in defense. Our final talking point of the day will be finish on a high. The past 20 days have been grueling for Real Madrid. The month of September and October historically brings the most packed schedule for top football clubs. But something about this year's schedule made it seem more cruel than ever. Real Madrid have played games with less than 48 hours of rest at times in recent weeks and have had two games every week. Needless to say, the hectic calendar takes a toll on the players despite rotation. Tomorrow marks Los Blancos' final game of the grueling sector. No matches are scheduled over the next two weeks, although players will still be on duty with their respective national team setups. Carlo and Celotti could ask for nothing better than to close out on a high. Real Madrid have won five of the six games over the past three weeks and it is only fitting that they finish with the momentum on their side before disperse. More importantly, it will be a massive confidence booster for the manager and the dressing room to close out the latest segment as the leaders both in La Liga and in Group C of the UEFA Champions League. So having said that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. See you next time on Hala Madrid to us all.